Today I'm going to show you how to plan your first outdoor route on your computer using Komoot. This tutorial is specifically designed for beginners who have never or barely worked with Komoot. I'll explain all the important steps and settings so you can easily create your own route. So let's get started and plan your first route. Hi, I'm Thomas and I've been making tutorials for 10 years now. Glad you found me. You can find the Komoot Root Planner in the Roots menu at the top left of the Komoot page. Click on Roots and then on the Plan New button on the right. The map is very intuitive to use. Basically, it's similar to other applications like Google Maps. You can zoom in or out on the map using the mouse wheel. When you hold down the left mouse button, you can move the map section in all directions. If you hold down the right mouse button, the map rotates. Icons and names do not rotate and remain legible. To reorient the map, press the compass icon at the top right of the map edge. In the lower left corner of the map, you will find the map selection. Some maps belong to the premium version and are marked by the green tree. Another display option is Trail View. I'll go into that in another tutorial. If you are new to Komoot, keep it simple at the beginning. This way you can get used to the operation without stress. If you already have experience with Google Maps, this can be very helpful. Now let's plan a simple route from point A to point B. All you need is a starting point and a destination. Use the search box to search for the starting point. Enter an address or the name of a place and click on the result. Now select start here on the left edge or on the map. Repeat the process with your desired destination. You can also click on point A and point B in the green box to go to the search. In this case, a role assignment for this waypoint as start or destination takes place directly after clicking on the search result. Are you more of a type who searches on the map? Click on icons on the map or simply on a spot on the map. It doesn't matter whether you press the left or right mouse button for this. For the first point you can assign start or destination. For the second point only the selection set as destination is possible. After selecting the start and destination a route is generated directly. Below the green box on the left you will find the data for the route, such as duration, length, attitude meters and difficulty. Below that the path types and surface are displayed. The weather forecast is a premium feature. The elevation profile can be found directly below the map. I will show you further settings such as type of sport and other in chapter 3. Now click on save route at the top right. Give the route a name and click on got it. It's that easy to plan your first route. We'll plan your first round trip right away. Now we plan a round trip together where you arrive back at your starting point at the end. This will probably be your most common type of planning in Komoot. To do this, open the route planner again via the routes menu and then plan new. Click on route tube in the green box and then it switches to round trip. This is the only way to plan a round trip. Now search for your starting point and then for the destination. That sounds a bit confusing but that's the only way to create a route. With only one route point next to the starting point, 
the same return route is usually planned. That's why we are planning another point now. Search again as before by text search or directly on the map. In the search result click on include on route. Now a round trip is also visually created from your planning. We'll adjust that a bit later. Below the video is a subscribe button. If you click on it a small bell appears. Click again and select all. Now I don't always have to write to you when there's something new from me. YouTube will take care of that from now on. After the video click one of the thumbs to show others whether my video has helped you. Questions, criticism and of course greetings are best written directly in the comments. Let's continue. If you want to change the order of your waypoints click on show all three waypoints in the green box. If you move the mouse pointer over the points a double bar appears to the left of each waypoint. Grab this bar with the left mouse button pressed and move it to your desired position in the list. Release the mouse button and the points are resorted and the route is adjusted accordingly. In this way you can also assign a different point to the start. Below the green box on the left you will see the data for the route again such as duration, length, attitude meters and difficulty. Below that the path types and surface are displayed. We will make further settings such as the type of sport in the next chapter. Now save the route, give it a name and then click on got it. Congratulations! This is your first round trip. In the green box you can make important settings for the route. The most important thing is the best type of sport for your route. It is the main factor in determining the route. In addition to hiking, running and mountaineering various cycling settings can be selected including e-bikes. The cycling settings prefer different surfaces and path types. Road cycling plans solid surfaces such as asphalt, Mountain bike mainly use gravel and unpaved surface. Cycling settings also take into account the traffic routes, for example one-way roads. Therefore this setting can lead to a change in the route, duration, length and difficulty with each change. On particularly long tours there can be huge difference between the cycling settings. Komoot professionals use this setting to create a particularly attractive route. The fitness setting is important for assessing the speed and thus the duration and difficulty of the route. You already know the route selection one way and round trip. Below left you can reverse the waypoint order. You can also create further waypoints via the plus button next to it. In the three point menu on the right you can turn off follow ways. I advise you against this for the time being. I will explain more about this feature in a later video. Another option in the three point menu is reset with which you delete your entire planning. And here are a few short professional tips. Above the green box on the left you can hide the sidebar the elevation profile and the root line. The arrows above the right corner of the box are used to undo and redo planning steps. If you don't like a waypoint jump back. If you accidentally deleted a waypoint restore it. Your route is also available on your smartphone after saving and you can use it immediately for navigation with the Komoot app. I will explain this in a later video. Hopefully that wasn't too much information for a beginner video. If you are looking for more instructions you can find them in my channel. I am explaining a lot about Google Maps, Garmin applications and fitness apps. See you in the next video. I am Thomas.